arguably the most anticipated motorcycle in the United States is the EBR Eric Buell Racing 1190RX. Now the 1190RX is supposed to be derived from this bike here, the 1190RS, which had an MSRP of $40,000, where only 100 were manufactured. Now to appreciate the 1190RS, you have to go back to this bike here, the 1125R, which debuted in 2007. Taking an engineering approach like no other, a first fuel-in-frame bike, and making specific engineering changes to the 72-degree Helicon V-Twin produced by Rotax. Other unique engineering approaches would include this ZTL or zero torsion load braking system. By increasing the diameter of the disc, Buell was able to eliminate the need for a second disc and a second brake caliper. The 1190RS has a 22 degree rake, the 1125 had a 21 degree rake. Now Buell's approach to having such a steep rake angle actually helps to improve turn-in and weight distribution according to how the bike is set up. Both the 1125R and the 1190RS have a 54 to 46 front to rear weight bias. It's made it in some respects unparalleled to any other bike on the track. The unique Rotex 72 degree angle V-Twin is unique to the 1190RS. The Rotax motor has gone through extensive testing and Eric Buell has added some of his own engineering features to the motor to help reduce vibration as well as increase horsepower. This is one of the few V-Twins that revs extremely high, which is able to maintain high speeds on straights and is able to keep up as well as, in some situations, surpass some of the inline four motors. V-Twin motors typically help to keep the frame narrow and help to reduce weight. In 2011, Rob Weaver, along with rider Sean Higby, demonstrated the awesome power of the 1190RS on the track by setting first-time fastest lap records. So mark your calendars next month in Orlando, Florida at the American International Motorcycle Expo on October 16th through the 21st, EBR will be unveiling the 1190RX. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe and tell all your friends. And again, thanks for watching. Let me clue you, fatso. I don't like games.